guys, so what I'm going to do is show you how I'm marking where the underarms go. Um, you could do this several different ways, but since I've got the person that's going to be wearing this right here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have her mark it right here where the underarm is, like right there. And that's how we're going to tell where this goes. And I'm going to adjust it just a little bit um, after she marks both sides, just because... Um, Sometimes it's not very even, especially with the stitches there. So, and you could take like a shirt of theirs and mark it that way. So there's a lot of different ways you could do this, but this is right now the easiest way to do this for me. Usually you want at least 14 to 20 stitches between the front and the back of the underarm. So the front the person's front and back there. So, um, that's it, and then we're going to uh, get it back in the light box, and I'm going to show you how I did it from there. So I'm going to actually see how many stitches are between here and here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's in the seventh stitch there. So how many stitches is it from here to here? Because I want it to be even across. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven there. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one out and I'm going to put this one, let's say between 8 and 9 on this front part. So let's do that. And then I'm going to recount this one again. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this is between 8 and 9 on the front side right here. And then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to do the same thing. So from where this is right here, I'm going to say this is, this is one. So it's one, two, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's take this one out of the back one here. So out of that back one right there and just move it over one. Like that right there. So... This is between, from here to here, both sides between eight and nine. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, see what it is right here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is right there. So that one needs to move over just one more also. So we'll do it right here-ish. Yeah, right there. All right, so that's the front and back, how I'm going to do this. And I'm going to use this yarn right here. And I really love, I'm going to make it look like this stitch right here for the straps. I really love that look. I think it's going to look really great. So I'm going to start with my first. So here I'm going to attach the yarn and I'm using the variegated yarn that it's going to be really hard to attach with that in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this out and I'm going to uh, put like the what I used earlier as a stitch marker. Now I do have stitch markers but they just weren't handy at the time. I've actually used um, on another project right now where I'm using a whole bunch of stitch markers so I'm just going to use yarn to mark it and again you can use anything like that I want to show you that you don't have to have any stitch markers or really anything fancy to do this with um, you so you can just use your yarn to mark that stitch and that'll make it a lot easier I don't have to fight with that safety pin there and so now I'm going to attach my yarn I'm going to close that so I don't poke myself and I'm going to insert my um, hook in the back of my project or back of my dress and I'm just going to pull through and that's um, inserting it in the back post there. So now I'm just going to chain and I'm going to chain one already, two, that was two, and then I'm going to chain three, four. So you see I actually really have four chains there so I'm going to work in that first chain that I made. I'm going to make two double crochets in that first chain that I made and then after I make the two double crochets I'm going to chain two so one two and then I'm going to make three double crochets in that first chain that I made there so one and this is two 
and then this is three. And then I'm going to turn this and I'm going to um, work into the, uh, so I'm going to slip stitch right there into those um, stitches that I made. So into those double crochets I just made into that chain two space. So I'm going to slip stitch all the way to that chain two space. So now I'm going to chain three. So one, two, three. I'm going to do two double crochets in that same space. So I've got one, two double crochets. I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to do three double crochets again. So there's one, two here, and then three. And then I'm going to repeat what I just did. So I'm going to turn it and I'm going to slip stitch right here again all the way to that chain two space. So I'm going to slip stitch all the way to that chain two space. Base, and then I'm going to chain three, two, three, and I'm going to make two double crochets. So one, two double crochets, and then I'm going to chain two, and then I'm going to make three double crochets in that space. And I'm going to repeat this again and again and again till I get the length that I actually need. Um, so the length that I need here is going to be, usually for an adult, it's about 14 inches long. Now, um, I'll show you here in a minute when I'm done with this, but um, this yarn that I'm using is really stretchy. So what I'm really going to do is I'm going to make this one about 12 and a half to 13 inches long because after time it will stretch a little bit and I don't want it to be too long. And so, Again, you see here, I'm just repeating the same thing over and over and over until I get to the length that I need. And I really like the way it looks because it looks like the corners of um, the granny squares, which I think is really nice looking. And I'm just going to continue that same thing again and again and again. So I think that looks super, super cute. And I'm going to get, um, of course, my tape measure. And now I'm going to measure it. So I went ahead and did two about 12 and a half inches there. So here you can see um, I'm measuring it there. So it's about 12 and a half to 13 inches. But you see how that stretches, how it pulls right there. So that pulls to 14 inches. So I'm confident that I have um, done enough to make it the length that it needs to be. And again, if you make it um, up to 14 inches and your yarn is as stretchy as my yarn is, then um, it may end up being just a little bit too long. So here I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. So I'm going to slip stitch to that middle. So I've got to do, go through all three of those double crochets and then that middle chain space, I'm slip stitching to that middle chain space right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect it to the back. And um, when you do that, you want to make sure that you don't twist it because if you twist it, you're going to have to take it out and redo it. So you just want to make sure you don't twist it. And I can't really work with it this way. I have to turn it to work. So I will be um, completing that slip stitch right there. And then I'm going to turn the dress around um, to work into that back post and again you're not working into the orange what you're working into is your uh, green half or green single crochets that you made earlier so you're just going to go around the post of that um, single crochet that you made earlier and you're going to pull through so you're going to slip stitch through that and you know what I'm just going to do that two times to make sure that it is really really secure and it can be kind of hard to do that two times so I'm just going to use um, my finger here and I'm going to um, pull the back over the front to complete that and then I'm going to um, chain one and then I'm going to um, leave a um, long 
piece of yarn so I can weave in my ends better. So I'm cutting that yarn and I'm going to pull it through and now I'm going to attach my um, yarn needle and I'm going to weave in those ends and I could take those stitch markers out at this time now. So there's my yarn needle and um, the first one that I did I um, probably left it a little too short, so I'm going to have to use my hook to weave that one in. But this back one, I'm going to um, insert my yarn needle, and I'm just going to weave in that end. So I'm just going to go um, here. I'm going to go behind. So I'm going to move that so you can see what I'm actually doing. So I'm going to go in those stitches um, behind, so you won't be able to see this at the front part of the dress. And I'm just going to go into those back stitches right there and I'm going to weave it through some of the back stitches and um, honestly it's way easier with the yarn needle to weave these through here so I'm going to go one direction and I'm going to kind of pull it tight and then I'm going to go the opposite direction and that really sets it in place going those two different directions there and so I'm just going to do the same thing I did before and I'm going to weave it into those back stitches there so the stitches on the back part of the dress and of course my yarn comes out and that happens let me tell you all the time so here I'm just continuing to weave in that end here and of course I'm going back and forth with that so and I'm going to go past it also so I'm going past where I connected it at and going through those stitches and you can go up and down in those back stitches you don't have to just go sideways you can go all kinds of different directions and that's what I'm doing now so I just went back and forth one way and then I'm going the other way and then I went back over what I already did and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that and I'm going to put a knot in it so I'm making a knot right there so it does not come undone and honestly I'll probably just glue this also now for that other end I really I made it too short to use the yarn needle so what I'm going to do is I'm going to weave it in later but I'm going to not weave it in with this hook I'm going to grab a smaller hook that way I can work in the back of those um, small stitches better so now I'm going to start on the other end and um, I'm going to do the same thing that I did earlier so I'm going to put those couple of pieces of yarn into where the um, safety pin is at that way um, they really don't get it it doesn't get in my way when I'm working and it marks those stitches for me so I'm just working in and it, it, it's even hard to put your needle or your hook in there I mean with the uh, with the safety pin in so I'm just putting some yarn there to mark those stitches and I'm taking the safety pin out and I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did earlier so I'm going to um, get my variegated yarn and I'm going to join it and I'm going to go in the back post of that single crochet so I'm just putting my hook through um, the front and then the back and I'm pulling that yarn through I'm going to single crochet I'm going to do one there is my first my first there I'm going to do some chains so I'm going to do one two and then I'm going to do one more so one more chain and then that's when I'm going to turn it and I'm going to do two double crochets in that first chain stitch that I made so I'm going to do two right there and again that can be a little tight there so there's one double crochet and then one more double crochet right there and now I'm going to chain two so one two and now I'm going to do three double crochets into that same chain one that I did um, that first one that I did earlier so that's three double crochets so now I'm just going to turn that and I'm going to slip stitch again to the middle of um, where that chain space is so I'm just going to slip stitch to that chain space there and then I'm going to chain three so one two three and then I'm going to do two double crochets so there's one 
and there's two double crochets. I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to do three double crochets here. So that was one, two, and then three double crochets there. And then I'm going to turn and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to slip stitch all the way to that chain two space. So I'm going to slip stitch all the way down to that chain two space. And then I'm going to chain three. I'm going to do two double crochets. So one double crochet, two double crochets. And I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to do three double crochets. So that was one two and then three double crochets and then I'm just going to repeat that over and over again and I forgot earlier before um, I started working on this side I forgot to count how many of these I did on the other side so I'm going to actually need to go back and count how many I did there and that's how many I'm going to make for this side so I'm going to make the exact same amount um, for this side as I did the other side and I'm just going to keep repeating that until I am completely finished. So here I'm at my last one and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to slip stitch all the way to that middle. So I'm almost to the middle there. And then I'm going to again attach this and I'm going to go in through the back of that stitch that I marked so I'm going to go around that um, around the post of that single crochet so I'm just going to insert my hook around there I'm going to pull that through and the reason that I'm doing it this way um, is because I don't want to mess up kind of that cute ruffly um, border that we made so I'm going into the um, stitch that's right below that border now this time I was smart and I uh, left my yarn long on that first one so now I can weave in both of these ends here so now I'm just going to pull my um, my hook out and I'm going to grab my yarn needle and I'm going to weave in both ends so again, I'm just going to pull the yarn through and I'm going to go back in the area behind and I could take out those stitch markers now and I'm going to weave in the ends. And again, when you do this, just really, really make sure that you've got it straight and um, that it hasn't turned or twisted or anything like that on you. And I'm going through um, the back here. So I'm just going to turn that over, show you I'm going to go through the back and I'm just going to go in the back of those stitches there and I'm just weaving this in. I'm going to go back and forth and um, you can go one way, you can go the other way and right here I'm just going straight across but you don't have to go straight across. You can go up, you can go down and I'm starting to do that here where I go up and then I go down and then I go straight across and you can drop it down some so you don't have to absolutely work um, in a straight line across. It's actually better and it makes it hold better in a tighter stitch if you don't do that. So here I am um, so now I just made a knot and I'm going to cut that excess yarn off and I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to do the same exact thing on this side. So I'm going to just thread the yarn needle there and I'm going to work in that end so it's nice and secure. I'm going to go back and forth several times through, um, through those back stitches there and um, just work in working the uh, yarn in there so it doesn't come out. So I'm going one direction and then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to go the other direction here. And you can go through the top, you can go through the bottom, you can go any way that you want. And the more directions that you go, the more secure that it will make, um, will make your um, straps. So, um, so the more directions you go, the better. And then I kind of dropped it a little bit down, which you can definitely do that. And now I'm just making a knot and I'm going to tie that off right there. And I'm going to cut that yarn. And there you have it, people. There is your 
um, granny square dress. I hope you had just as much fun crocheting this as I have. And um, if you've made it this far, I am super, super proud of you. Now, I don't feel the need to block this dress, but um, you can. And I'll make a separate video later on how to um, block your granny squares. But um, the dress is all finished, and now you can go try it on. And um, here I've got what the finished product actually looks like on and it is super cute on her. I love the way it came out. What do you guys think? If you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing to my channel and um, liking my video. And if you want to see more projects like this, just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.